Oh. Just fix it. Just restart it. I'll listen to music some other way. Oh wait, no Google Play won't let me do it too, right? Wasn't that the issue we had? I'm just gonna use my other YouTube account then. Gotta update Stream Decker. And we need to change the title. That is not what it. What is up with the sizing? Uh, it's not exciting. Mm. All right. I think I'm good on lands. Does F6 not mean F6 anymore? They change it? It's literally just actual 6 now, not F6? That's annoying. Mystery Reinforced Serum Visions, interesting. Alright, Stream Decker has been updated. What? Oh, is it, um, Amulet Titan or something? Interesting. And make this a little smaller. And this is supposed to be up here. Uh, I think I just want to do this. What are they doing? Battlefield, irrelevant. Choose a multicolor card you want from outside the game, reveal the card and put it into your hand. Let's get rid of that, I guess. Right, it's not F2 anymore, it's just 2. So weird that they changed it. Oh, 
headset's not dead. Did they literally just top deck another one? No, they just metamorphosed. Okay. <clears throat> and opponent concedes. Interesting. All right. Uh, I don't really know what their deck does. I'm assuming it's... I don't know. Do we just bring in Eidolons with their mana? I mean, Eidolons a good pick. I like cut ores off Pontiff because we don't know if they have creatures. At least big creatures. Um, they don't seem to be casting anything on our turn. Uh, let's just see what happens. I don't really know what they're playing. Uh, yeah, that sounds fine. Take two to Serum Visions. Yeah. Uh, so we can do... Do this on one. Turn off auto yields. If he plays a creature, we can path it. Oh, I can't path that. Why? <sighs> Stupid new... Turn off auto yields, and we're just gonna dislike the way that they've changed this. Stop passing is now five. Oh. <clears throat> I don't know why they had to change that, it was fine before. Oh, didn't people say that the Jeskai Ascendancy combo decks were on their way back? Like, we're making a comeback, so maybe that's what it is now that I've seen the Karyatid. Stop passing has been five. I don't know what you're talking about. I've always had the uh, F2 was, you know, yes or whatever, or okay. F6 was auto pass, not regular six. So, I am thoroughly confused. And F3 was stop. <clears throat> uh, I think we're just going to Thought Knots here. It's the, the safe play. Huh. Gifts ungiven. Tap or untap. Target permanent. I don't care about that. Uh, I think I care about gifts and given. Let's get rid of that. Just smash in with this. I don't. I'll f six here because I literally have no plays. We took two more damage than we were supposed to because I didn't. Pay attention. Because we had to shock ourselves.
English. I don't know what they fetch with this. Maybe I should have taken that. Like, I have no idea what their deck. Sentency definitely is on a comeback. It's... Yeah. I have a feeling that might be... Yep, that's what they're on. They just fetched for it. Never non code Okay. So... Uh, I can punch them for nine. What can I... Oh, you know what I can do? I can evolution for, um... Well, let me attack first. I would love to put that on the battlefield. Uh, I cited this in for this particular reason. So I can't do multiple things in the board and some various win cons are in the wish board. Well, with Eidolon, they, they shouldn't be able to go nuts. Because they can only cast one spell per turn, so unless they exactly have a bounce spell uh, or a kill spell, I think I'm okay. Yay, we got there! God, this deck's sweet. Alright. That was an interesting uh, start. Didn't think I'd be facing that deck. All right, let's queue into our next match. Huh, is this hand worth it? I have turn one noble. <sighs> On the draw, though? No, <sighs> I just, I've learned not to keep one landers. And punished. Well, they mulligan two. Let's see if they go down to five. Oh, they went to five two. All right, I don't feel so bad. Perfect. Uh, I will ten out of ten put that on the top. Yep. All right. I only went down to five because they went down to five. Spire Bluff. Oh god, is this... Alright. Alright, I need to know. What is, what does 2 do? 2 is pass until response. Okay, so I gotta stop doing that. I'll do this and pass. I thought 2 was except. Yep, you fetch away. Alright, let's see what this deck is. It's Grixis, I'm wondering. No, I think this is, um... This is, uh... There was a, a Gorio's list that I saw, kind of. Alright, we're gonna fetch now. Alright, thought not see here it is. Gonna get countered? No. Alright, let's see if it's the Gorio. Yep, it's the Gorio's list. That's what I figured. Um Guess we just take the Gorios. I don't really care about the rest of his hand. I saw uh Hoagland play this exact matchup 
was his last round was the last matchup his uh league God, why are they all like this magic did like this weird reset and it was awful all right so now he there's three cards we don't know about another is a charm yep god he's hurting on lands huh probably toss the push he's keeping the push he just oh now we can kill the thought knot okay that's fair um well since he can kill the thought knot I think I'll actually do this go get smasher I only do this now because now we can't uh now we can't um push it. Alright, fourth land and uh brutality plus Gorios does it or uh looting. Oh god. Blue Grixis, Fiend, Fire Doggo. <laughs> I think we're we're gonna be okay for the first round, but we'll see. God, they're not hitting the wreck. They're not hitting. Snap. He's gonna Gorios a click. Well, that's funny because I'm gonna do that, which makes him have to push the. Oh, we can't push the thing. Oh, now we can. Now we can push the things. So what I'm gonna do here, so I'm dead to uh I'm dead to Emrakul. So what I'm gonna do is Eternal Witness get back my path. This way if he uh can Gorio out a um Oh okay we that's for Gristlebrand really. Okay, so uh relic seems good. Eidolon seems good. Voice seems good. Pontiff is bad. Uh I'll trim a path. Um Evolution probably seems a bit medium. Do that and trim like. Oh, maybe I don't need all four voices. This seems fine. Relic interrupts their combo. Eidolon interrupts their combo. Is there anything in the sideboard that interrupts their combo? No. I mean, this this stops Gristlebrand from doing some things, but 
that worth is that worth taking out like uh, a Thrag Tusk for? Yeah, I guess I guess I'd buy that. Like if they get out Gristlebrand, like if they're too fast for us. I'll try this, see what happens. Should also considering uh boarding out um a land at some points. Uh like this hand's slow. But on the draw, it's probably fine. Like we can't, we can't beat their like turn two or turn three kills anyway. Usually, all right. Here's open. We can uh, top deck a uh, Eldrazi Temple because I'd really like to have a turn three thought knot. Right, they haven't looting yet, which means they probably are setting up for the Emrakul very Oh my god. We're just so good at this game. Just the gosh darn luckiest. Alright, are we dead? Let's find out. Tune in next time. Uh, we're dead to Faithless Looting Gorios. Oh. That's actually annoying. Because now I can't cast any of my things. Huh. That's very frustrating. I did not think they were going to have Blood Moon. Oh, don't get there, don't get there, don't get there, don't get there. Oh, he's got two Gristlebrands. Oh, and he has no Gorios. That's actually really good. <sighs> Alright. Why would you do it on the defense? Because you're going to gain the 7 and then draw another one. Woof. How great would it be if they bricked? Alright, so from now on, fetching nothing but basics. Oh, uh, we're getting through the breach to Emrakuld. Yeah, we're, we're just dead. That's fine. Alright, didn't know they had a Blood Moon. So now we uh, bring in Rexage. Probably cut. Cut a Reshaper. Teague is only good against that one card, against Through the Breach. That seems fine. Alright, let's try this again. So just gotta remember to fetch nothing but basic lands. I'd love to play first, thank you. Uh, pff, deal. Alright, this is game three, right? Yeah, this is game three. Alright, we're gonna fetch a forest.
and then play Relic. And we're going to go from there. Actually, that needs to be a bit bigger. Not too much. That's fine. Just put it back to the way things were. All right. Um, I'm gonna do this. Patch of forest. Aethos looting. Oh, that makes me really question my next play, huh? Alright, put in the Gorios. Uh, do I want voice? Do I want reshaper? I just want the reshaper. Because then next turn I can play uh, voice and hold up relic. So the opponent needs exactly Faithless Looting, Black Source, Simeon Spirit Guide, and a creature. Well, specifically, Ember Cool. And in a particular order. So, like, the opponent needs to go uh, Swamp, Faithless Looting, Discard, Ember Cool, Pitch Spirit Guide, Have Gorio's Vengeance. In the exa that exact order to win. So, you know. If he does, he does. There's a black source. Okay, he's tapping that for the red. Okay, he's gonna. He's he has the exact four combo four cards in a row. Uh, oh god, he didn't. That's really nice. Let's do this. All right, let's see what happens. Just gonna flashback Faithless Looting. Don't really have a choice here. Two, three, four, five. We can hit him for ten, but then they can kill us on the backswing. So. We've been very lucky this game, so let's let's hope we keep, you know, staying lucky. <laughs> Spirit guide. Oh god, that's a good draw. That is a great draw. That means we can hold up what looks like either path or relic. 
we can take something out of their hand. Um, I think we take the Gorios. Uh, exile, yeah. Nice. All right. Not bad. That's not a not a bad uh two o start. All right, round three, let's go. Uh, I mean, this hand has some interaction, but it, it doesn't have anything big enough. I'm, I'm all looking on the draw. This hand's great. We've got a uh, turn two thought knots here. Uh, yeah, I'm in the market for that. Turn two thought not seer is always good. Oh no. Alright. Alright, you can stop. You can just can you not? Alright. Thought not might not be the play, it might have to be a displacer. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's not terrible, actually. Who can I block? Oh. Uh, no, no, thank you. Uh, no, I think I'm still in the market to play Thought Not. Uh, taking this for sure because I can actually deal with Edge Champion with my colorless creatures. He can hit me for one and he can hit me for two in the air here. Alright, now cards left in hand. What? That oh, no, yeah, he drew a card for the turn. He hit me for one in the air. Okay. Displacer is a good card. Swinging for five seems okay. Because I'm not going to be able to block any of his flyers, so. Would I be willing to trade with the Edge Champion is the question. So if I was thinking about trading, I probably should have played the Matter Reshaper. But I think he might leave the Edge Champion back as a blocker. A path or two would be nice. A path as land. No, the pathing land doesn't seem that great. Yeah, it does because. All right, one, two, three, four. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this was a mistake on my part, because now I'm gonna now I'm forced to block this, but I'm okay with making the trade. That was a mistake on my part, I should have played the reshaper. But rewarded by drawing a path. Alright. I can only block one of his things, so I'm going to swing for five. Two, three, four.
that's definitely going to keep us alive a little longer. Really makes me upset that I... Really? <sighs> that's rude. Now I'm really upset that I played the Displacer first. Ink Moth, that's rude. I'm going to take two in the air. I'm only taking two a turn. That's not terrible. Oh, only one? I swing for one in the air? Two in the air. Uh, I'll just let the two go through. Yay! That's a flyer. Uh, I'm gonna take damage here anyways. Okay, let's let's figure this out. So let's say I do tap everything here. I'm dead to Galvast, that's that's for sure. Just chump and then hit me for two again. I think I'm okay if I just swing in with this guy every turn. The less flyers he have, because now he's gonna have to play defensive too because I've got a flyer. He's gonna block and Galvast? Interesting that he'd do that. Or he just wants to make it smaller. Sure. Now he can only hit me for one in the air? No idea what his game plan is. Are you definitely. Ooh, that's really bad for us. Do I want to chump that? Oh, I have to because if I don't chump, if I don't chump either of these, I'm dead. Just to yeah. Oh, just the most professional magic players. Don't have another second. Don't have a second arc bound. Oh, that's a little rough. And the only thing here is, is I'm dead. Oh, I didn't know we could just do that. Uh. 
going to make him do it. He didn't. He didn't do it. Oh, but I can't kill him now. Just plus three, plus three. I can put him to one. Well, that's so not fair. That's so not fair. Oh, because I had to use my Noble Hierarch. Ugh. Yeah. He should have just won last game. If he just he should have just sacked the Arcbound Ravager, but it's whatever. He would have lost one and then no, because it would have been the same. Okay, I see the I see the line. Because it wasn't plus two plus two that it had, it was one. Uh voice is pretty bad here. Um Reclamation Sage, Sony Silence. These are all the cards that are supposed to come in. Uh Pontiff's great. Um what do I trim here? I probably just trim like an evolution. Tap brush land for green, right? Send a message. Uh, Thought Knot's probably a bit. Cl These are probably clunky just because. I mean, they dumped their hand way earlier than that. But then what would I bring in for these? Chameleon could also have reach, it doesn't. Uh, actually, Gear Hulk's nice because it goes wide. Is that worth? Is that worth bringing? Oh, Linvala. Linvala is what should come in. Uh, yeah, I don't think Gear Hulk's necessary because thing is, is when it says artifact and creature. Oh, does that work? Yeah, let's just send it like this, see what happens. Yeah, but the thing is, is, is voice isn't going to do me any good because everything flies over it half the time. Uh, surprisingly, I love this hand. Because we can evolution for Kataki on turn two. Seems good. I'm gonna fetch a forest. Turn off auto yields. Just making sure I put Kataki in. Yes. Nice felt scourge. Oh, whoops. The next turn, we'll just play out both of these guys, and then if we get a land, we can just play Reality Smasher. And hope we win with this. And he's going to pay to keep that, and then he's going to play, what, like one of the color sources and Galvlast? Oh, Galvlast! No, Galvlast only needs to do one damage, so it doesn't matter. Yep. <laughs> it's exactly that. Oh god, no, he doesn't. That seems... <laughs> oh god, of course he had it. Alright. Ooh, Linvala though. If we don't get the land, we're definitely gonna jam her out there. She also blocks their flyers.
Wow, that's rude. Be a shame if this Lavala came down. He's gonna sack them all in response. Put everything on here. That seems like the smart play. So what Bessie can do one, two oh god, he's not doing any of them. Okay. Because he has exactly Gal Blast in his hand. Again, he's got the second one. Oh god, this is so frustrating. Jesus Christ. You're just dead. God, I can't even... Any top deck exactly will draw the evolution to win, or to survive. We can't do it, we're just dead in the air. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Could have been much worse. Why is there no sound in this video? The heads is not dead because it's working, so. I won the die roll. Uh, this hand's probably too slow on the play. Like, we don't do anything till turn three, and that's only if we get the land, but we also have voice. Yeah, I'll keep it. See what happens. We don't know what we're facing, so... Man. So used to keeping things on my upkeep and stuff. All right, opponent, where are you? I'm probably gonna hop back into another league after this. I just don't know what deck I'll play. I might just do this again. This deck seems fun. Deck sweet. <laughs> oh no. I'm not wasting my time. So we're facing, uh, Ponza. To shock myself. It's fine. Because what we can do is we can... We, we have to get exactly a land, which we're not going to draw because we're just going to brick and die because that's how magic usually works. Oh, that's rough. Alright, well... Didn't get what we wanted, so we're just gonna path it. See? Freaking die. 
Pontiff's definitely going to come out. Jesus Christ. I love the brick and die plan. Too late. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. We're just, we're done. All right, so. Do we bring in? Jesus, I have no idea. Uh, I'm gonna say Eidolon's not terrible considering how big their creatures get. I don't feel like Pontiff's good for the sole pur purpose of cleaning up like elves. <laughs> Thragtos seems good. Uh, is T good? Yeah, because they run Primal Command. Um, voice is kind of meh. Not a big fan of voice in this matchup. Uh, Reclamation Sage seems good. You can probably cut an evolution. Um, paths are great. Linvala, not so much. Gear Hulk, not so much. And yeah, we'll just see how this goes. Love to play first. This is terrible. Watch, we're going to top deck a Displacer and be upset that we didn't play this. <laughs> Alright. So, it'd be very nice to draw some Eldrazi's. Crap, we could reality smash them next turn if we had it, but we're not going to get it. Alright, they can make four, five mana total on turn two, because that's cool. Oh, dear God almighty, this is so fair. Yep. Now I can't evolution it. Thought not seer, thought not seer, thought not seer. No, I'm just. I've seen this game. Just. Garbage cards. Could be dead no matter what. Alright, let's try to cash the league. I'm definitely gonna do another league with this deck after that because uh, those games are miserable. I'd like to. enjoy my, my league a bit more. All right. Uh, risky, but I'll keep it. Got a got a good curve as long as you know you start drawing lands, and this bird lives. If this bird dies. We're pretty probably gonna probably gonna die. Okay. What is this deck? Like a series of dies and triggers for your modern legal food chain? <laughs> yeah, pretty much.
It's pod without the pod. It's Eldrazi pod. Oh god, imagine. God, imagine if they unban pod with the uh, these Eldrazi's with their perfect curve. Shaper into Seer, Seer into Reality Smasher. Beautiful. I think the most fun thing to do is to uh, Evo a Reshaper into like another Reshaper or something. Death Shadow? Yep. Otsies. Otsies. What are you taking? Probably take the Evo. How's it going, Notebook? Thanks. Can we beat Death Shadow? What would I get? What do I want to get? I can go fetch uh, Eternal Witness. Is that good? Is 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 evoing this to get an Eternal Witness? No, because I don't have a land to get back. Part of me wants to keep the path up. Uh, because I can't play this matter reshaper because I don't have colorless. You'd get the voice. Uh, I'm not sure if this was the best play, but we shall see. I think what I love about how much colors do you have to actually cast the Eldrazi? Tons I've got. Um, I'll show you real quick while he's playing. Uh, I've got four Brushlands. I've got four Eldrazi Temples, Llanowar Wastes, uh, two Wooded Bastions. I got plenty, but you know I'm never going to draw them because that's how magic works. Oh god, it's the Esper list. Is that good for us? Not really fearing this death shadow just just yet. Okay, now I might be fearing it. I don't want to block just yet. Lingering Souls. I'm just going to get this out of the way now. This is like the fourth game today that we just brick on our third land and just die because of it. Look at all these lands our opponent has. Went to three. Why can't we be playing Lightning Bolt? I feel a Delve Threat coming through. Just 
stop trying to make Opta thing. <laughs> Just, just the best at this game. Oh, hey, look, answers to our spells. Uh, we'll take the path. Um. He's gonna thought seize our, yeah, oh no, he, I don't think he's willing to thought seize. If he wants to go to one, he wants to go to one. God, the best part is if he thought seize us and we top deck a land. How great would that be? No, because he's going to go to one here, and his choice is either take the Smasher or Path. And if he takes the Path, we win with Smasher. He took the Smasher, alright. So now he has to be careful with how he's attacking. An Inquisition. What a top deck. Alright, so... What do you play the? Do you play a land? Oh God, Lashan! All right, he's got a flood of strand in his hand. That's it. I'm just gonna swim them both because he has to. He has to block them. Last card in his hand is a flood of strand. So, and then we'll just we can just path his last blocker. But we're going to hold the path for, like, a, a big dude. He knows we have the path, too, so... Alright, what's your top deck, opponent? He's trying to make Opta thing. Are you dead? I think you're dead. We beat Stubborn Denial, we beat... We beat a lot of things. I'm gonna hold this in my hand. I don't think we have something else. We're getting Path or drawing a land would be GG. True. What are you gonna do? He's gonna push... Okay. That... That doesn't do anything, you're still dead. It's a 2-2 two -two to against one level. How does... The last card in his hand's a land. Oh, he's hoping to draw something off of that to kill the voice and survive one more turn? Sure. God, how do we survive all this? He's hoping to draw some sort of answer. You dead? Are you dead? Am I dead? Like, wow, did he top deck exactly? Alright, I mean, you gave me a bunch of creatures. I'm just gonna hold the land in my hand. I don't think you have a way to get rid of all four, all three of these. There's the land. Alright, last card in hand, don't know about. Looks like a concede. Oh no, he went out on his own terms. Uh, so voice seems great here. Uh, relic seems great here. Oh, that's true, they could be running Damnation. Uh, Eidolon seems good, right? Seems like a decent card. Uh, Chameleon Colossus is great. The run the last troll seems great. Uh, we can probably trim... God, what do we cut here? Uh, Pontiff is bad. Uh, um, Probably can trim that, and then we gotta cut three more cards. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Do I just exchange two Thought Knots for these two four drops? I feel like I don't want to cut a low cost card for a high cost card. I feel like that's bad. But like, can't be countered and hexproof. Chameleon Colossus is great because it's protection from black. The, is Eidolon? No, I don't think Eidolon's that great. Although it would have killed him sooner the f previous turn. Yeah, but I just, I don't think that's that great. 
Uh, I can probably trim like a smasher. Probably not a Thrag Tusman. Do we need the life gain? Yeah, we might want the life gain. Um, probably don't need all four of the voices then. We'll submit like this, see what happens. Alright, uh, this hand... This hit is, like, great if we get lands. Because we've got three of these dorks, and we have a colorless source. Like, is this worth it on the draw? This seems okay on the draw, right? Notebook, what do you think? Like... Turn one, Hierarch. If it doesn't die, we've got turn two, both of these. Yeah, it's, it's game two. I'll risk it. We're going to top deck a land. Not a fan of lands that can be pushed. None of my lands can be pushed. I don't have any, uh... That's not a, that's not a creature land. It's just a pain land. It probably takes the Chameleon Colossus. That's another reason why I didn't want to mulligan, because like we know they run so much discard. Oh, oh, you're talking about them. Sorry. Yeah, but I've got three of them, so it's like... Pushes one, then I just put another one out. And if he doesn't push the first one, then I put all of them out. <laughs> but if he's pushing these, he's not pushing a Thought Knot or a Chameleon Colossus. Well, he can't push a Chameleon Colossus. I feel like you have to take the Chameleon Colossus, because it's literally the only card that is protected against 90% of your deck. Yep. Top deck land? More lands? I like more lands. Nope. Plus, if he's wasting some of his resources early to push this, then that's fine. Shock himself. He's gonna, he's gonna thought scour, and then he's going to push this, or he's gonna thought seize me. Oh my god, it's alive! All right. Next turn, we're going to play and pop this as long as there's no Delve Threat coming in. God, how, how rude would it be if he had Orzhov Pontiff in his deck? Oh my god, that's it? That's great. Oh, that's even better? Uh, I'll take the Shock. get around, uh, what's it called, um, sure, Luckily for us, we have a second Thought Knots here. That's so rude that he had exactly that. Card's good. Against us. Maybe I should have let off with this then. Maybe he would have, he would have wasted it. Is hand just like mono answers to us? You have exactly another one, right? Stainful Stroke, alright. Alright, now I'm gonna attack for... Do I want to attack for two? Yeah, I'll attack for two. 
I don't care about putting him in death shadow range, really. I got a, I got a swag dad. Do I pop the relic now? Yeah. That's, that's, yeah, I should pop the relic now. Seems good. Next turn I can play, uh, Reshaper Swagdad. Thoughts Gower. Okay, he definitely has a Delve threat. Oh, sweet, he's down a Death Shadow now. God, no counter spells. And a path. I don't want to do damage because I want to hold up path for his death shadow or delve threat if he has one. So he has to, if he has path, he has to use it on Swag Dad. God, he's down two Death Shadows, that's great. Alright, play your Delve Threat so I can path it. Do those cards have haste? What are you gonna do? Push? Or no, it's a Delve Threat. Sweet. Angler? It's definitely, no, it's Tassiger, right? So, we're gonna half it be mana efficient hey we got you your third land good for you oh god we got voice we're great at this game just be mana efficient here it doesn't really matter the order although damnation would suck actually damnation wouldn't be too bad because um and we get a 3-3 behind and then a 3-2 or whatever this hits, if it hits anything. Uh, untapped to path and doing two is better than just pathing the guy. You think so? All right. Well, he's down two of his death shadows. All right. We managed to, we managed to squeeze out a win. So yeah, I, I, I copied this list. Uh, Hoagland uh, streamed this a week or so ago. And I really enjoyed it because I love I love green white decks. I think that's that's just my bread and butter. And what I really liked is that it was running, you know, the uh, the Eldrazi's. Um, the only change I made, and it was a change he recommended, was he had, there were there were two Kitchen Finks on the side over here, and he recommended swapping them for Stony Silence against like Affinity decks and stuff like that. So that's what I did. All right, let's uh, let's run it back with another league. Uh, we have just made our fun bucks back, so let's do that. Let's try to 4-1. haven't 4-1'd in a while. I'd like to 4-1. Besides, I need to I need to get some win streaks going because uh, I did not have a good time this weekend. Uh, my buddies and I went down to Connecticut to uh, play in a Dragon Ball Super regional. Actually, the very first regional for the card game uh bandai ran a great event it was uh done through arg and it was good but uh i didn't do that well personally uh i scrubbed out it's a really fun game people want to look into it i can definitely uh stream some of that Sh introduce people to the game got a really decent following uh this hand does a... it's got turn two thing this hand's okay i think i'll just fetch uh basic forest Awesome, it's probably Storm. Well let's let's get let's get out of Storm's range. Let's make it harder for them to get me. And then we got Path for their uh their dude.
I don't think we have a I don't know if we have a good store matchup or not. It's a very linear deck, so I guess the benefit to us is he doesn't they don't interact with our board too often. I think next turn what I'll do is I'll uh I want to hold the Pontiff. Oh, I can't cast the Pontiff. What am I talking about? Well, I'll hold up Path next turn regardless because I want to be able to Path whatever one of his um, dudes. Either your opponent is really thinking about their turn or they had to step away for a second. Who knows? Our cat's weird. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. What is, what is this? All right, not storm. Okay, that was weird. Not expecting that. All right, so that stops us from turn four, smashy. Well, unless we top deck, um, Eldrazi Temple because you know that's what's gonna happen is we're gonna top deck Eldrazi Temple. God, that means they have counter spells. Ugh. Please search. Alright, deal. Drazzy Temple. Ugh, another card I can't cast. Awesome. I actually would have considered grabbing uh if I if I did top deck. I'll Drazzy Temple next turn. I'd probably play Thought Knots here before anything else. They'd rather rip stuff out of their hand first and then start punching them in the face. Actually, I'd be okay with empathing this. Alright, there's your cryptic command mana. Land. Deal. Gonna snap helix. What? Oh, electrolyze? Sure. Grab Overgrown Tomb. Let's take a look at your hand, good sir. See what's going on up in there. You gonna path it? Yeah, he's gonna path it. Sure. That just means I can smash next turn. Have a planes. So the best part is he draws first, and then we can take whatever we want out of his hand. Alright. Uh, what card in his hand stops Smasher? Uh, so that he'd have to pay a lot to do. Yeah, we'll take that. If he wants to, it'd be great if he takes his next turn uh, doing Snap Helix. Oh wait, no, it won't matter because it's Exile, it's not Discard. That's great. So next turn we've got enough mana to smash. If we top deck another land, we'll have enough mana to smash and hold up Path. Although I don't think Path's really doing us much in this matchup. Kind of want to hold this Path as long as it can to get that Colonnade. Is the stream title still not updated? No, it is. It's just not updated on my end. Twitch has been so all kinds of weird lately. God, he didn't play anything. He binned a Snapcaster. Alright, well. I'm not playing this game not to just jam it. Did you top deck exactly what you needed, opponent? Did you top deck exactly a counter spell? Your choices are either snap path. Oh wait, he can snap path. Huh. That's fine. I got another uh, rally smasher in hand. Oh god, the next turn, what he could do is he could snap. Lightning Helix. I 
and then chump. I wonder if he's going to trade the Snapcaster with the uh, Sphinx. But hey, he wants to keep giving me more lands. That's fine. Next turn I can go Noble, Smash. Or no, I think I just want to do Smasher and hold up Path. This way he can't snap Helix and kill it. So we know he's got a snap in hand. Negate, Spell Snare. Just another one. Did he top tag Mana Leak or Cryptic? Of course he did. Of course he top deck Cryptic Command. Alright, well, you're gonna run out eventually. Oh god. He can snap Cryptic, it's so great. Ooh. Hold up. What am I grabbing here? This is a game one, right? Yeah, what am I grabbing here? Uh, Thought Knot's a good card. Rather him snap cryptic this than another reality smasher. I'm gonna hold the path, because if he activates colonnade, I'd rather path that. God, and he's got negate and spell snare. I'm surprised he didn't use negate. Oh, he binned negate. Oh, he couldn't have been negate. I mean, we're still at 20. This isn't. We're not doing terrible. We're not in a horrible spot. We're not in a great spot. We're not in a horrible spot. Displacer seems great. Beats a mana leak, so he has to have exactly Cryptic Command to stop this. Or Logic Knot. Is he going to dig for one? Sure. Always yield to search. Let's see. Pans out, Horum. <laughs> he found a cryptic that he can't play. Yay! You'd been the gate too. I want combo pieces and things that work. Fair enough. Uh, of course he got a logic knot. No, I can't do it. And now he's got a cryptic in his hand. Oof. I mean, we gotta just make him use it all. Go on. Cryptic command me. This is so much fun. God, worst part is, is he can just negate. Yeah, we're dead. I I saw that card and it's just we're dead. 
Alright, voice is great, Gaddock Teague is great, Run is great, uh, Eidolon is great. It's Pontiff's, uh, actually, holy crap, yeah, Pontiff is great. For that, now that we know they have Secure the Wastes. You're staying in here. Trim a bird. Uh, trim a path. And a bird. This seems fine. This seems good. Is this a relic match? I feel like it's not a relic match. Because, like, I mean, relic helps get rid of their snapcasters and stuff. But, like, not get rid of the snapcaster, but, like, turn off the snapcaster. <laughs> Like, I don't know what I'd want to cut. No, I don't want to bring that in. I just have, like, Tegan stuff. We'll see how this goes. Our cat's weird. Pony's really thinking hard on the sideboard. Our cat sleeps in weird poses. I think there's something wrong with him. Uh, huh. Like, this hand's great if this was like a temple garden. It's not bad though. I mean, we've got the turn two reshaper. Yeah, I'll keep this. We top deck another green source, and we can put out a throne and just start punching him in the face. Actually, I'd be really upset if we draw another old drowsy temple because then we could have turned two thought not. Top decking the land would be sweet. Any land so I can play Thought Knot, specifically a white land so I can... Actually, a green land. I'd want a green land because I want to evolve this into... What would I evolve it into, I guess? No, definitely not doing the evolution now. I think I'm actually going to do this instead. Uh, make them counter this. If we get a land next turn, I can go... Well, this is just dead to path, but still. I guess to use the path.
To sack the guy? Yeah. Yeah, it's a cost to sack the guy. Yeah, I only I should have board. I I feel like I should board at least two out and keep two in. He wants to mana leak this. Go for it. Logic not. That's actually okay. Fair enough. I think the, the the mindset for me is I would only evolution if they ever tap out. Because then evolution, like next turn, like evolutioning this into a reality smasher is great. If they tap out. Like let's say they go land and then they tap out for search for Ascanta, I'd 10 out of 10 be playing this next turn. Like, it'd be amazing if he goes land, tap out for search for Ascanta, because then I would 10 out of 10 do that. Although... That's one of the... M. Oh my god, that's great. That means he can't counter me. Oh, we got the land. The path it. Okay, that, that changes things. I'll get a forest. That's actually not terrible. I thought not now. Take stuff out of his hand. <laughs> You're freaking kidding me. Uh, I actually would rather take the search. Would I though? This can't be countered, so next turn I'm playing Thrun, so no, I'm just gonna take the search. Besides, if he wants to spend that to uh, like bounce my stuff, then like go for it. I know we don't have one card in his hand we don't know about. I want to get the extra point of damage in here. He's probably going to Cryptic Bounce. I feel like Cryptic Bounce is a bad idea. Is he just going to take it? That's fantastic because I'm going to do this. Can't be countered. So he has to spend a Cryptic to bounce something. And it's got hexproof, so this can't be bounced. I think we're gonna get a good spot this game. Three cryptic commands doesn't do much here. You can bounce my thought not see if that's probably a bad idea. Can't path this, can't do anything to this guy. Have to try he'd have to top deck exactly Supreme Verdict. Which is probably what he did. <laughs> of course he did. Top deck exactly Supreme Verdict. Alright. Creature, please. Oh. Uh, magical top decks are great. And it's three cryptic commands and a card we don't know. Not 
broadcasting this. Actually, gonna make them use the cryptic. Right, it's its own thing. Apparently, I don't know how it lands. Can you? Can we untap? Thank you. Jesus Christ. Make him use one to bounce it. Bounce draw a card, yep. Thank you very much. Oh god. Alright, well... Alright, we got him in four turns. Maybe. Yeah, they're going to bounce it. Sure. Oh, God. I mean, we're just not winning this game. Like, now that this is going to flip, now I'm upset because he didn't bring in the relics. I My only focus was bringing the relics to stop Snapcaster triggers, but then I forgot about Search. So we're losing this game primarily because of me. He wants to use one of his crypt. No, he's not. All right, that's fine. Whew. We're definitely not winning now. Draw, discard. Uh, there's only one run. Deck the deck list I I uh, copied only had one on the sideboard. All right, I've I've had enough. I know when to to give in. Uh, I'll be right back before we start the next match. I need a drink. Give me like a minute.
All right, let's try this again. Now this is a good hand. Turn one noble, turn two, sh reshaper with another noble. Oh no. Oh no, is it a mirror match? Uh, we're going to preserve life total here now that we drew that. Yeah, breeding pool does make me think it's in fact. Could also be Bantel Drowsy. Could be Ban Humans. It's probably in fact. It's definitely in fact. 10 out of 10. Alright, so Reshaper's gonna block one of the elves. Worst part is he, he just takes it and then, like, the Ink Moth is going to kill us.
opponent is probably trying to do the math. Interesting. So, he wins by being able to activate both of these, and he has the top deck, I don't know, something that gives them plus four. He's jumping, they're going to get minus one, minus one counters... I should have just swung with eh, it wouldn't have mattered. I want these to die. Yay, we got there. Thank you, Thought Not Seer. You're a bro. Alright, Malira ten out of ten coming in. Uh Eidolon's coming in, that's definitely. Is Gearhall coming in? Uh, Pontiff seems great. Voice doesn't seem that great here, primarily because they're not doing too much on our turn. So, like, these three cards seem reasonable, because they go wide sometimes. I don't know. Then again, we're trying to go wide too. Artifact creature and enchantment. Saints Walker from Mongolian land. Permanence and sacrifice the rest. Meh. Is this a Teague match? No. Maybe I bring in Limvala, but that only turns off their mana dorks, I think. Yeah, I'll just see how this goes. These two are like hard answers to their stuff, but I don't know about that. Uh, this hand does... this is great because we got Malera. Uh, fetch a basic four. Actually, no, we can just fetch a... it doesn't matter what we fetch. Our life total is pretty uh, expendable at this point. Uh, so turn one this, turn two we can put down Malera and Path. Yeah, next turn we're just going to 
slam down Malera and then hold up path. If this gets countered, I'm going to be so upset. Alright. Opponent's looking at the card. Oh god, the opponent, they lose, in fact, which makes them regular creatures, which act, can actually still be a problem for me. Didn't know about that part. In which case, I don't need a path thing, so I can just do this. Next turn we'll uh thought not holding up path. That's a great draw. What's in your hand? Oh god, that's a big card. Plus six, plus six. Uh, what am I worried about? Plus four, plus four, plus six, plus six. More worried about plus six, plus six. <clears throat> Besides, I can just path anything that he puts out in front of me. So what I'll do is I'll block the Glistener Elf. And then when he tries to pump it... Oh, he's got an Ink Moth. That's rude. I got an Arbor. Is he just trying to go wider than me? That's really nice. Oh god, we can protect our Malero? That's fantastic. Okay. Oh, that's stupid. It gets infect. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> 
<laughs> that felt good. Wonder when they're gonna give up. Pretty sure we got game two in the bag. No, they have this hand, and now we're gonna see the other two cards in their hand. GG's. Oh wow, they just. just... Oh yeah, we won. Did we win the first game? No, we lost the first game, didn't we? Whatever. Uh, no, we pretty much need Malira. <sighs> oh, wait, no, this is a new game. Uh, we'll play this. We'll fetch for a Temple Garden tapped or a Plains for the path, depending on what the opponent's playing. We're very lucky. Oh, no. No. Don't be death and taxes, don't be death and taxes. Actually, I don't care about death and taxes. Most of my deck's creatures. Is he gonna take two? What? Oh, it just, we it went straight to untap. Okay, because I hit F6. That fetch was probably pointless. I don't know why I did it so quickly. Oh, we're facing a junk deck. I'll probably just have a brutality or just another way. If they go to fatal push this, I might actually just path it to get an extra land so we can play Thought Not Seer next turn guaranteed. If they go to uh, brutality, Grim Flyer. care about that uh sometimes the whole reason we have the black source in the deck honestly i think i might just path this no no that's stupid now i wish i did Like, I want to do it in response to him trying to uh, push this, or it would have been really nice if he went to do Collective Brutality against it, and then I would have pathed it, and then he wouldn't have been able to take anything. But he's got a Trampler, I don't think it's, re I don't think it's relevant. Yeah, <clears throat> we're, we're not in a good spot here. I really wish I pathed it. I, I, def I desperately need the land. It's 
It's coming out against this matchup, though. I'll tell you that much. Probably gonna take a uh, Reality Smasher. Or no, he probably takes one Thought Nuts here. Yeah. He's got a second one. Oh, just an ooze. Yep, yeah, you got me. Do your thing. We ended up getting an Eldrazi Temple. Oh, way too many, way too many. Ooh, what is this? <clears throat> I don't think I care about Gideon, but Blood Baron of Escopa. What? I gotta take lingering souls. They're, they're, like they're worse for me right now. God, he, but he know. Oh, I bet he knows he has the land. <sighs> what a top deck. Good old Grimflayer doing doing what Grimflayer does best. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. Shit. I clicked the wrong one. I clicked the wrong one. Dead because of a misclick. I'm not I'm not playing this out. Uh ba -da -ba -ba. protection from black is good. Uh, uh relic is good. Uh, Do I care about Pontiff here? I, I I guess I really do now that I know that they've got the tokens. Um. God, I don't know what to cut here. What did I bring in? I brought in four, five cards. I probably don't need that. Uh, now that I know we've got Plane Walkers, Teague is definitely coming in. These guys all seem great. Put you back in. Uh, relics go here. What do we trim? Uh, I guess the Ragtusk isn't that great for us. I'll trim a Thought Knot just to keep the, the curve. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. Um, can trim an Evolution and a Bird. We'll cut two evolutions. This seems fine. Let's see how it goes. Uh, this thing's great. Puts in Shaper on turn two, and then I can uh, Evo it. Uh, and then I would evo for... What do I evo for? I just go get Smasher? Probably evoing for... Chameleon Colossus. No, but I can die to path. Maybe I do just want to get Smasher and just punch them in the face really quick. Or maybe I just want Thought Nuts here. 
because I have a Smasher in hand that I can play afterwards. I guess I guess we should just see in what we get off Reshaper first. I'll probably want to. Yeah, I'm probably gonna want to go get Thought Nuts here. If I get turn one thought season, I'm gonna be very upset with myself. Yep. Shocker. Uh, I probably take the Evo. If he takes the reshaper, then I think we're okay. But if he takes the reshaper, that means that he definitely has, you know, something to back it up. Yep. Okay. Oh, we don't have to worry about it at least. Next turn we can uh play Finks. Have another thoughts he's opponent? No? Okay. It's <sighs> fine, we got Eight points of damage on board next turn. Oh, we overpaid. That that that's actually really annoying. I didn't, I didn't think that through. Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna play some Planeswalker. I think what I'll do is I'll just do both of these guys, and then I'm only going to swing with this guy for a while. If this gets path, I'm going to be very annoyed. That's a goif. That's another goif. So the good thing here is, is uh, making him a 7-7 is going to keep him alive. Oh, he just took it. All right. Pretty sure. <laughs> That's just stupid. All right. I should have probably should have swung with the reshaper. <sighs> Just gonna die in the air all these tokens because they're chump blockers for days. Yep. Well, I'm gonna make it difficult for him. I'm okay with him chump blocking because my life total is high enough that, you know, chump blocking one turn is not gonna make a huge difference. Both in top tech mode, which is nice. But if he keeps lingering soulsing, be in a pretty bad spot. Or if he plays the other Gideon that poops out a dude every turn. 
Alright, that's a land, that's nice to see. Oh wait, that's a creature land. Meh. Maybe I should be just swinging with these two, as is. Don't have another lingering soul. Okay, thank you. That's really good. So I think we just swing with the team. Oh, we can't go get the rag tusk. We could get Displacer. Displacer seems like a good call. Oh, but I could get could swing with everyone, then get gear up. No, gear up. That's a terrible idea. Terrible, terrible idea. I think we're just gonna get, um... I think we'll just get another... Or maybe... No, I think I'll just get, uh, Orzhov Pontiff. Because that's game. Yeah, just get Orzhov Pontiff. No, I get Pontiff. I clear out his one once, and then he's dead on board. Because I didn't, I didn't side out Pontiff, right? Yeah, he's still in the deck. We're just going to do it right this time. Well, no, he's got the Smashers. Yeah, I can just sacrifice uh, the Witness. I kind of want to keep these guys. <laughs> no, because I want to be able to swing with it. Yeah, I guess. I guess I'm not swinging this turn. That's just tasty. Oh, but we made their Tarmogoyfs bigger. That's... Uh, it is the same deck list, although I took his uh, recommendation, and instead of the extra two Kitchen Finks on the side, I put in um something else. Uh, Stony Silence. Oh, do I just get the... No, Colossus doesn't do anything. So Pontiff cleans up all of his 1-1s. Yeah, I think that's the best play here. Creatures you don't control get minus one, minus one till end of turn. Yeah, let's let's clear up them. Attack you, attack you, attack you. So he's gonna take two and go to one, and then I'm gonna get a really big dude. Unless he has exactly <laughs> fatal push. Oh, he's got a shambling vent. That's right. That's fine. I'll gain two more life. He won't lose any creatures, but... I'm gonna gain two more life. And have a really big dude. I hope attacking there wasn't a misplay. Giving them two life isn't super relevant here. 
What? No. All right. So now we're going to get punished. I guess I'm just going to swing at the reshaper. He's going to be forced to block it. He'll have to double block, and he'll lose one of his goifs. Oh no, he can just single block. We'll just trade. Please give me another creature. Please? Please? Path to Exile. That's a good card. Get this out of the way now. I think we're okay? God, we're still sitting at 23 life, too. How great is that? They have to have exactly Damnation. Actually, Damnation would suck, because then they draw a card, and then they've got this guy. Lingering Souls would keep them alive. Oh, uh, no, they got Shambling Vent, so that, that does some things. Kitchen Fanks. You're kidding me. Just all the things to gain life. Alright, I guess I'll just swing here. This will become a 6-6. Six, six. I'm just gonna jump in and go to nine. God. Kudos to him for for making this ridiculous comeback here. Not really comeback, but like. Do I just go wide? Like double blocking kills it. I'm just gonna. And if this dies, then it can haunt something. I'm just gonna go wide. Yep. Yeah. It'll go to 11, and then it'll take... something. God, he's gonna double block? Draws him a card, but then he loses both of his things. He takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He'll go to three here. That's fine. All right, opponent, did you get there? Yeah, this is uh, getting to the trials. Jesus Christ. Uh, I feel like we sideboarded uh, correctly here. Do I want Chameleon Colossus though? Like, would I rather just have Thrag Tusk? Because he doesn't have any black creatures, right? No. Yeah, I think I'd rather have Thrag Tusk. Although this thing can get really big. Yeah, it's the one with the emblem. As long as you control it. Yeah, I'm going to do this instead. I'd rather have Swag Dad. Alright, let's try to win this. God, this is only game. This is only the second round of this league. I wonder what we're going to do after this. Uh, this hand is garbage. It puts in Gaddic Teague on turn. Like it, it, it's just too slow. Oh, but it's on the draw. Yeah, I mean we're just weak to Thoughtseize, so like he takes and we get two mana dorks. Do I want to be that greedy? I feel like I don't want to be that greedy. 
But I don't want to go down to five cards. <sighs> no. Much better. Uh, sure. We got this on turn two, that's just fine. You thought sees me, bro. Probably has path for this guy. Or he just got another discard spell. And his mono discard spells. It's not. That's really good if we can draw a land. Go on, path it. Oh yeah, if he paths it, we get a land. That's sweet. Oh, don't Liliana. Don't Liliana. Gideon, deal. <laughs> Uh, we're just not gonna get lands. We're just gonna brick, brick and die. That's the name of this game. Uh, just, just need a land, any lands, or path me. I'm actually okay if you pathing this. Path swing with Gideon. Get a plains. I'll be able to thought not. Then I'll be able to path. Just need a white source. Opponent's never gonna brick on lands, and that's why they're gonna win. Jesus Christ. You gotta be kidding me. I'm done. Yeah, the opponent's got two planeswalkers and I and I I'm just I'm not here for this. All right. Hey, the good news is if we lose one more game, then we can just uh, stop playing. Might uh, might grab um, might switch over to a non-magic thing for the stream. I want to start uh, incorporating my video games into the stream. This hand has literally all of our high cost spells and no way to ramp into them, so we're gonna we're gonna mulligan this. I'm a lot lower than I thought. This chair was higher up. So so far I, I've been doing it's been okay. So like the first league we did, I, this is my first day playing with it. The first league we were uh, three and two, and we just won our first three matches in a row uh, fairly easily. So that that happened. Um, but then we got dumpstered by uh, Affinity and something else. Um, so far this league we're getting hit a lot harder early on. Uh, the interactions have been good. Um, I mean that last, not that round, but like the the game two that we won. Out of there, that was really good because there was a lot of back and forth. I enjoyed that. Sometimes we just get our bases wrecked. Oh, sure. Deal. Hey, all in all, I really enjoy this deck. Uh, yeah. God. What a great mulligan. Just don't have a Thoughtseize opponent. You know what I have not seen in a while? Tron. Oh, no. Gonna play that and pass. Just because we can thought not on two. Because that's fair. Thought not turn two, reality smasher turn three. Seems good. Put in a four four or four on turn two that rips something out of your hand. Oh, this list, huh? Uh, I actually want to take the Electrolyze because I don't want him to gain life. No, I want to take a path. You pass this uh, on his end step, and then that's fine. Okay. 
God, next turn I can... Oh, I meant to tap this. That's a that's a misplay. You'd have to be able to cast both of these, so he needs another red source. God, he's just doing it to draw. Alright, so... Four cards in his hand we don't know about. That's rude. I guess I could have just... No, it doesn't matter. He'd be dead on next turn anyways. Uh, so I'm actually gonna get another Thought Not Seer. Yeah. This is fun. We faced this deck, uh, earlier. Alright, Throne's gonna come in. Uh, uh, Teague is gonna come in. Voice is gonna come in. Eidolon's gonna come in. So we're gonna board out two of these, one of these, one of these. This seems good. Because we didn't really see much. Alright. Can I figure out what we're gonna play next? I might call it a day after this if I can't figure out what game to play next. <sighs> yeah, I think we'll call it a day after this, actually. Because I want to, uh, if I'm going to stream, I, I uh, want to grab that game Xenoblade Chronicles 2. My friends have been telling me it's really good. I feel like I should stream that tomorrow. Tomorrow or Wednesday. Probably Wednesday, since Wednesday has downtime, and... I never have anything good to to play during downtime. <sighs> like doesn't have thought knots, but, I mean, it's got two voices. Yeah, I'll see how, we'll, we'll see how this hand works. We gotta learn it.
Next turn we can play Teague and Click. Probably gonna take the path. Did it to himself, huh? It'll just jam out the Teague. Opponent just just gave up. Just up and quit. Alright, this is it, guys. We just gotta win this one to, to cash the league, get our fun bucks back. This loss, win, loss, win. I wish I could say it's because we played well, but... Uh, the We played an Infect player uh, here, and he just up and scooped him a Larry. He's like, yeah, I got nothing to deal with this, I'm done. This is awful. Why, Magic Online? Come on. Uh, sure. This, this could be. I could have a worse five. We got a, a decent curve. Cape okay, Coilos. Looks like Eldrazi in taxes. Luckily for us, Thalia doesn't do any good here. Don't path it. He's gonna push it. Fine. That actually is really unfortunate because we're gonna brick on our third land. Because every time, every game, they has been bricking on lands. Sure. We're gonna we're gonna do that. Ugh, but I don't want black sources. Shock himself. Shocks himself, then he's probably gonna be playing Flicker Wisp, maybe? No. Maybe. Yeah, Flicker Wisp. Alright. Gonna blink his own land. He's gonna blink my displacer. For two damage. Sure. I think I'm just gonna do this instead. Let's hold this back. What is this deck? What is doing? Do I have any cards that are exiled yet? No? Okay. I can deal with that. Eventually. Can't play that next turn. Play Thought not next turn. This next turn. I'll take a thought not. Just hope he doesn't get the land. Don't get a land, don't get a land, don't get a land, don't get a land! Wasteland Strangler does nothing for you. No lands. Don't have a land. Don't do it, opponent. End the turn. Don't play your strangler. Just to have the dude out. Alright, well I think it's time to do this.
<laughs> That's rude. That's straight up rude. Alright, we know two of the three cards in our hand. So now you can thought not. Actually, that was a bad idea. I probably should have just taken the... No, because he would have drawn. This one, it leaves play. Tide of draws a card. Oh god, if he gets a land... That's bad. Oh, he can't play it. Oh, he can play it. He'll go to 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Probably thought not is the safer play. Oh, okay, so he's he just he can't exile it. Now we can play Thought Knot. Won't have anything to take out of my hand though. I'd almost consider displacing his Thought Knot. Actually, if I top deck a land, I could displace his Thought Knot and be able to swing for game. If he plays out the Thought Knot. Yo. I swing with both of them? That sounds like a terrible idea. I'll just give it back to block. Do it. Top deck land, 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 land. <sighs> We're so good at this game. Mm. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we're we're fine. Card's so good. What what placer? This displacer right here. All right. Uh huh. What do we bring in? Uh. We don't really have much to board with this, right? Like, Gaddic Teague is nice if they had a Gideon. We don't know if they have Gideons. I mean, I think Death and Taxes usually has Gideon. At least I thought they did. God, what in God's name do we bring in? Part of me thinks Linvala might be cute to deal with their Displacer. Like, displacing our creatures isn't a great plan for them. Pontiff is good because it cleans up a lot of their stuff. Dude, are we just hitting submit here? Like, I just don't feel like any of these cards do much. But, like, our main board is, like, great against them. Like, Eidolon doesn't even seem good because I don't think they're casting multiple spells in a turn. Uh, yeah, I think we're just. We're just. I think we're just hitting submit.
Does everyone else think, do other people think the same? What do you guys think? Are we just hitting submit here? Is our main deck just good enough to deal with it? Like, I don't think, I don't even know what they could sideboard in against us. That will be any different. Like, again, the only card I can think of is sideboard in Lambala to deal with their Eldrazi Displacer. Which we never actually saw. Like, Teague does nothing, Voice does nothing. Nah, we'll submit, we'll just ship it back. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to bring anything to to bring in. Like the Linvala idea is kind of cute, but like, meh. Uh, this seems great. Uh, we've got a turn one hierarch. We've got a turn two thought knots here. Actually, we just got turn two thought knots here without the hierarch, but I'd rather him waste like a push or a path on a hierarch. Displacer? <laughs> That's great. Turn off all yields. Are we taking two here? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, it's fine. I think our life total's safe for a while. They want to use a path or a push on this. That's fine. If they path this, then we still have the turn two thought. Now, if they push it, then we have a turn two displacer. Seems like a good thing. Turn two displacer seems great. Huh. I'd rather just do this. TM Steeler with the new follow. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, we let them thought not before we did. We could have thought not of there. I wasn't thinking. That's fine. When they play their thought not, if they have a thought not, they're like, oh, what do we take? The thought not or a smasher? A flicker Wisp. A Flicker Wisp your planes and then path one of my guys. That seems okay. I'll probably path my displacer and then we'll just thought not. That's actually fine. I'd, I actually rather than path the displacer. No, they're not pathing the displacer. Guys, they're not doing it. I'm just gonna do this. Sword of Light and Shadow. Just take the thought knot. Do I care about this sword? Whenever a creature just comes damage, you'll play your game three life and you may return one target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. I don't think I care about that. I just want to exile their thought knot. The less thought knots, the better. Yeah, because we can just displace whatever they equip it with. Granted, I don't want to displace a flicker wisp, but like. I have to, I have to. So next turn we can just jam Smasher. That seems good. <laughs> this deck's great. God, they're not swinging, they're not casting anything? That's great. You know, three out of the four cards in their hand. Just gonna swing with it. They top deck the path, they top deck the path. Alright. Alright, so we're punished for swinging with the Eldrazi Displacer. That's. <laughs> 100% my own fault. Something I have to deal with. That's... Alright. So, we got punished. Just gonna swing with the...
never didn't have it. Uh, do we just go for a plus, or do we want to just, like, make his dude smaller? We're just gonna go, we're just gonna do the minus. He'll lose one of his creatures. Alright, opponent scooped. Alright, look at that. We 3 2 back-to-back league. So, like, we, we broke even, we didn't do terrible, we didn't do amazing, but we, we did enough to, to break even. So all in all, I am happy with this deck's performance. Um, we'll definitely be back tomorrow. I'm not sure if we're going to do a magic stream or not. Um, I usually stream between 12 and 4. Uh, today I'm going to cut a little short just because uh, I'm just not feeling magic today. Um, and I want to save my non-magic uh, streaming for Wednesdays usually because of downtimes. Uh, so we'll just see how things go. Uh, this is a very, very good deck. I like it a lot. Uh, no, the only change I made to the sideboard was I, there were there, these Stony Silences used to be uh, Kitchen Finks number three and four, and uh, Jeff Hoagland recommended that he didn't feel like the extra Kitchen Finks were really necessary, and I agree with him. Uh, so Stony Silence is good against you know um, the Affinity decks because outside of the Stony Silence, our only Affinity cards are Kataki, which is great. Uh, Reclamation Sage only hits one thing, and then Malaria only affects the poison counters, not the giant dudes um i really can't recommend anything else uh i'm also not i wouldn't say i'm uh good enough to be someone to recommend changes i usually just copy a list and play it with magic because i don't play as much as i used to um so the, I, the, the gear hulk i think is a little eh. like i'm not a big fan like i have yet to want to use it but well We'll see. But yeah, I would I would recommend maybe something besides this Gear Hulk. It just doesn't seem that great, but you know, who knows. Alright, I'm signing off. Uh, I'll have this video uploaded to YouTube uh, sometime later on tonight. So, uh, I'll see everyone later.